I didn't want to go home with a big briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they could have done cash? Yeah, they, they actually have, if you request cash, I mean, if you put cash into a machine and they request cash, they have to, you know. Wow. I don't know why you would want to take cash. I'm yeah. Really, I mean, I mean yeah, you wouldn't crazy. even, you probably can't even fly with that. Yeah, so actually, I've been stopped at the airport before in the past. Nowadays, I, I try not to travel with cash just because there's <laughs> a lot of bad people in the world. Yeah. Nice. Wherever you guys are watching this show, I would truly appreciate it if you follow or subscribe. It helps a lot with the algorithm. It helps us get bigger and better guests, and it helps us grow the team. Truly means a lot. Thank you guys for supporting, and here's the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the big jackpot here today. How's it going, Scott? Good. How you doing? Coming off a million dollar win, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Don't <laughs> <in> shock. <laughs> Happened last night? Yeah. Yeah. Last night, uh, about one o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh. Were you alone? Uh, well, yeah, I, I was uh, just playing in the casino with my friend, but I had, I don't know, like 20, 30 fans behind me watching. <laughs> no way. Uh, so yeah. So it was, it was pretty hectic. I might go down as one of the most memorable experiences of your life. Yes, uh, definitely be hard to top it. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, for sure, definitely one of the. How top. quick did security pull up when you won that million? So uh, not so much security, but the uh, slide attendants were, the, I mean, immediately there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they, it was definitely. Because I feel like if someone's walking by watching you win that, they might try to follow you out of there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that was really, I wasn't, <laughs> I don't think that's right. Because it, it takes quite a while to get paid out. Oh, you didn't get the money right away? Uh, it took them about an hour, hour and a half to oh, get it all done. Yeah. It's not too bad. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and I, I decided to take a, a million dollars of it in a check. I didn't. Yeah. I, I didn't want to go home with a big briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they could have done cash? Yeah, they, they actually have, if you request cash, I mean, if you put cash into a machine and they request cash, they have to, you know. Wow. I don't know why you would want to take cash. I'm yeah. Really, I, mean, I mean, yeah, you wouldn't crazy. even, you probably can't even fly with that. Yeah, so actually, I've been stopped at the airport before in the past. Nowadays, I, I try not to travel with cash just because there's <laughs> a lot of bad people in the world. That's yeah. nice. um, so I usually just use casino markers, and that way I, I don't have, you know, I'm not a high, high, high risk uh, to say. But um, yeah, so I have been stopped at airports before. So there's no law. You, you could travel with a billion dollars. Oh, um, really? Yeah, there's no law. I mean, there's no law about how much you travel. It's only if you leave the country or coming back in the country that you have to declare over 10000 Oh, got it. I yeah. always thought you just couldn't fly more with, than with 10 Gs. No, it's only if you go uh, international or flying in or out that they, oh. they do that. And, you can, I mean, you can come back in the country with $20 billion. Uh, it would be suspicious. <laughs> but, but, yeah, there's no you know, there's no law that says you can't. Interesting. Okay. I want to talk about your gambling career. Like, what age did you start doing slots? Yeah, so I, I actually started uh, a long time ago when I was about 18 years old. Wow. Um, before it was even legal, I guess, for me to gamble. <laughs> uh, so hopefully I won't get in trouble 35 years later. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I had a mentor uh, who used to come to Vegas all the time and uh, was really big into slots. So I started coming out when I was younger. I was, I was kind of a, well, a couple of things. 30 years ago, nobody cared about uh, IDs and <laughs> checking right. stuff. It was a whole different kind of world. Mafia was running the casinos <laughs> back then. But yeah, nobody. And so we used to come out to Vegas and uh, I was a little larger. So I looked a little older for my age. So we'd gamble and just come out and, you know, I don't know, $500,000 back then or something. Yeah. It's kind of a big trip. And then, uh, but most of the machines too never even went over like $5. So it, it wasn't like you were hitting a lot of jackpots. And mm -hmm. uh, funny story is um, when I was 20, I hit my first jackpot. And I was at Caesar's Palace in the middle of the night. And uh, I was like, the guy came over, you know, he needs your ID and your paperwork. He goes, I go, oh my, I forgot it. And he goes, oh, no problem. The uh, slot supervisor can work with you. Just give us your information, you know. No, uh, so yeah. you couldn't even claim the money? I, no, yeah, I did claim it. Yeah, they, oh, you they did? paid me. But like I said, this is in, you know, 19, you know, uh, 90. You know, so <laughs> just nobody cared about, you know, nobody was doing bad things in 1990. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Caesars, if you're watching this, that never happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how many jackpots have you won? Uh, so that's actually another fun fact. I'm, I'm getting, I'm very close to hitting 10,000 jackpots what? in my life. Yeah. Holy crap. I yeah. thought you win like one in a lifetime. No. So on average, because of the bet size, um, and the $1,200 cap, um, on average, I get about, um, I mean, I get it, you know, two, 300 jackpots a night. A night? On um, some nights. Yeah. Like when I'm doing bigger spending and stuff. In the Holy casinos. crap. On most nights, probably about 10 to 20 jackpots is pretty average when I'm in the casino. Yeah. And is there a strategy in terms of switching machines or are you on the same machine for those? So, yes. Yeah, so sometimes it's the same machine. And I just keep playing it. And sometimes mm -hmm. uh, I switch machines, try different machines. Okay. So there's no like set machine that you favor. You just play all of them. 
Yeah, so uh, I have my favorite machines that I, I really enjoy playing. Um, but then for the show, I try and play the most popular games and newer games that the fans are into. Got it. They won't watch. Yeah. How have you seen the type of slot machines evolve over the 30 years you've been gambling? So uh, a, a few things. Uh, they definitely uh, have gone from the real machines where you would see the real spinning to electronic machines, which yeah. are, are video operated. And over the last couple of years, they've added the grand jackpots, um, and now the grand jackpots are getting larger. They used to be like ten, fifteen thousand dollars, then it was fifty, then it was a hundred, and now they have the million dollar machines, and now mm -hmm. they even have a ten million dollar machine. What? It's um, called Mega Bucks, and it's um, all the casinos combined are uh, in the machine. So it's like as people play, like every casino may have two or three of them, and as people play throughout all the casinos, it's going into a this ten million dollar pot. Wow. But I think on that machine is if you do win it, it pays you over like twenty years or. Oh, okay. I, I think there's a little bit different payout. So the million dollars I won was immediate payout. No, no. That's waiting. nuts. So. What's the most someone's ever won off a slot jackpot? So I honestly do not know, but I I do think that somebody has won ten million. Damn. In, in the past. But <laughs> I, I but like I said, I don't know. I mean, um, with since the million dollar uh, Dragon Links came out uh, and started, I know you know there's probably been you know, 50 to 75, you know, million dollar plus winners. Between, wow. Between, it, was reset, it starts at 1 million. So I think from between a million and like, uh, you know, like about 1.5 million. That's insane. Has Is the U.S. the biggest country for slots? Uh, no, well, I, I don't know now uh, after and stuff, but Macau used to be the biggest. Macau? Uh, Macau outside of Hong Kong. Wow. I so, never even heard of that. Oh, really? Yeah, no. that's, it's, it's huge. So a lot of the casinos that are here, like Wynn, Venetian, they have locations there. Mm. Um, and it's, it, it's it's weird because it's like, if you think the casinos here are big, uh, over there, they're about twice as big. I mean, yeah. It's like the same thing, but it's just, um, but they don't have as many slot machines there. It's mostly um, a lot of Baccarat, dice games, um, yeah. and you know more Chinese cultural uh, stuff. Now, why do you go all in on slots? Because when you look up the odds, it's like one of the worst, right? Yeah, so for me, slots were always mindless entertainment. It was just something fun for me to do, uh, kind of just a getaway. Some of my biggest ideas in business came from slots. Mm. Um, you know, so I would just kind of play them, and you know, you just, it's just like I said, it's mindless entertainment. You don't you don't have to do any effort. There's no there's no thought process of hitting right. a button. Um, but I, I I do table games. I, I have uh, I've had uh, some huge wins on table games and stuff. But oh, you know, nice. table games you have to make a decision. You you know, I mean, there's a lot more at play than a slot machine. Yeah, it's more strategy, right, with table games? Yeah. Yeah. Would you say you're up or down, like, overall in your gambling career? Oh, yeah. I mean, for my 30 years plus of gambling, I'm definitely down. Oh, you are? <laughs> there, I mean, if you ever meet a gambler who tells you he's ahead, he's he's a liar. At least I you're mean, honest about it. Yeah, I mean, there's nobody. I mean, this year, I'm 100% ahead. That's, okay. And I've, and this year, and, and this jackpot hit, as long as I don't screw it up in the next few weeks, uh, <laughs> definitely should, which I should definitely, I, I'm, this, this is probably made up for a couple of years. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean, there's, especially at the level that, uh, of gambling that we're doing, or, or that, I should say, that I'm doing on my channel, um, it's definitely a much higher, um, you know, amount being bet. So the jackpots happen very frequently. Yeah. But you're able to monetize in other aspects to offset some of your losses, yes. which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Between we have the YouTube revenue, Facebook revenue, which is really good. Yeah. Uh, it's actually interesting because I started on YouTube, but my Facebook revenue is about three, four times what YouTube pays me. Damn. And then the uh, endorsement deals are just insane. Yeah. Um, and then one thing I also started... Uh, about five years ago, I was the first slot influencer um, in the area to start my own slot app. Hmm. So I have my own app, which has done really well for me over the years. And oh, so you could literally play slots on an app on your phone right now? Yeah. So I have a, it's it's a free play app with in-app purchases. Oh, but cool. Yeah, so you're not you're catching out money or anything. Oh, it's just like digital currencies and stuff you can win? Yeah, just like in-app purchases like Got it. for coins and, and bonuses. And yeah. Stuff. How do the brand deals work? Th that's a curious thing to me. Yeah, so the brand deals are huge. So we actually have a, a lot of like slot apps, uh, other slot apps besides my, my own. But yeah, some, I mean, the brand deals are huge. I mean, some of them are... Are you interested in coming on the Digital Social Hour podcast as a guest? We'll click the application link below in the description of this video. We are always looking for cool stories, cool entrepreneurs to talk to about business and life. Click the application link below and here's the episode guys you know twenty five, fifty thousand dollars a month it's Holy crazy crap. money for us you're nowadays. killing it bro <laughs> yeah no it's been it's, it's been really good like people like a lot of slide channels have started because they wanted i didn't i mean the thing when i started there wasn't there wasn't the brand deals and there wasn't a lot of money in this i right. just did it you know got into it um i had an ex-girlfriend who got me into it but i um you know i just kind of continued on with it it's just something 
to do. It wasn't anything, you know, it's kind of like, eh, film a little clip, put it on YouTube. You yeah. Know, I, I never thought, you know, like it would turn, it into, would turn into what, yeah, this wasn't my focus at the time for, yeah. where I had been in business and stuff. I feel like you and Vegas matter, like the face of this slots movement right now. Yeah. Yeah. And he's done tremendous. I mean, he just, he's just exploded this last six Crazy. months. Crazy. When I yeah. first time on the show, like uh, almost a year ago, like he was just starting. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, uh, I talked to him when he had first started and it's actually funny. We did a competition video. Oh yeah. Uh, we did. Yeah. We did a $5,000 challenge video so who won uh, uh well obviously i did him <laughs> the og of slots here now <laughs> no, so it's funny yeah we did a five thousand dollar video he actually uh I, I played huff and puff he played video poker he lost it all in video poker i don't even it was it was whoever would have the most money after a half hour yeah so i, I don't even know if he made it the full half hour yeah uh, but yeah no so we had a, a challenge and then uh I think I've beat him on two out of three challenges. Damn, so. he's gonna have to do three out of five then, or something. Yeah, we'll have to. <laughs> we, but we always have a good time. He, uh, we had a, we had a funny video uh, like a month or two ago. Uh, I was the butler in his video, <laughs> and what's funny about it is um, a lady in the casino the other day was like, "Oh my God, you're you were." Uh, she goes, I, "I I recognize you. I know you." And um, I'm like. I don't know you. <laughs> she goes, no, you're the, the butler. <laughs> I, uh, was like, I was like, oh, yeah. That's, that's what she remembered you for? <laughs> I mean, you funny. probably get recognized at every casino you walk into at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely, we're becoming more and more recognized. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and outside of casinos, I mean, I was in Germany, Mexico. I mean, just, Oh, even in oh, other it's, countries? It's crazy, because you have to think, I mean, I'm getting between 10 and 20 million views a month Damn. on the platforms. And, and that's long form, too, which is yeah, very Yeah, valuable. my average watch time on long form is almost 20 two minutes that's, holy that's yeah. the highest retention i've ever that's like mr oh, yeah. beast numbers yeah no it's it's crazy retention so the, the sweet spot for youtube is you want like about a 35 40 minute video yeah and you usually get about 50 percent watch time wow this. so do you have an older demo then because people my age can't watch that long yeah the, yeah the younger crowd is not into slots <laughs> and that's the biggest problem and that's why the the casinos and, and the uh, slot manufacturers are really big about this because they need they need to get these new viewers and stuff right um, but yeah my average uh, person is about seven 70, 75 percent male audience mm. um 35 to 55 year old damn that is stuff. crazy and then my top countries after usa is uh, australia canada and uh, uk wow so you are worldwide oh yeah yeah Just... no the, the pokies in australia are huge and i mean gambling everywhere is big I mean, yeah people, yeah i guess slots is one of those things where it's kind of like everywhere in all the major countries so yeah no it's uh yeah people just love them <laughs> yeah so where do you plan on taking this thing man I don't know. I mean, there's, there's so many things, you know, uh, and places, you know, to try and go with it. Um, I think for me, it's just, you know, to keep growing the channels. Um, it is what's getting a little harder about everything now is because there's so many more platforms. Right. So it's uh, obviously like TikTok, every, you know, came along. Yeah. You have Instagram, you have X, you have uh, now Clapper. So, you know, it's Clapper. Uh, Clapper is like a, a TikTok <laughs> knockoff. So oh, TikTok got really strict about uh, gambling and slots. Oh, uh, you can't even live stream on TikTok? Yeah, no. They, if, the, if you go live on TikTok with slots, they immediately ban you. Wow. And, stuff. and they are do allow the content because the like is some of the biggest advertisers uh and the highest cpms are being paid by all these slot companies mm. like it's some of the top slot companies are doing four billion dollars a year on their uh, slot apps it's just what? crazy money yeah holy crap and all, that's all profit because yeah. it's there's no really cost well i mean yeah they have the development cost of their apps well, other but, than that yeah. but that's like a one time oh yeah no that, and that's why they're paying so much i mean yeah. it's, i have you know other friends too getting you know five ten thousand a video and damn i mean it's just insane money there's yeah, a lot of money in this space. And even yeah. the comps from the resorts are probably insane too. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, always get uh, full room food and beverage. They'll pay for your flights, airfare. Wow. Um, you always get, you know, get anywhere five to $10,000 a day in free play. <laughs> I mean, and you get tickets to like all the events like UFC, yeah. Yeah, no, Allegiant Stadium. Terrific. Yeah. I went to the, uh, when the Vegas Knights won the Stanley cup, I was here yeah. going to the Super Bowl. They got me tickets for that. Dude, and it was nuts. Like I went Matt... to U2. Uh, oh, they comped the spear too? Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They, I went to the, oh, yeah, I mean, Venetian much... owns the spear. Or something? Yeah, yeah. So pretty much any any show or any event, like I've never had a, a problem getting into it. I've, I've had insane. UFC great tickets. Yeah, like face value says five thousand. I don't know what I know pay or not, but no. Vegas <laughs> Matt took me to the ice hockey game and it was oh, yeah. front row. I'm like, this is your life, man. <laughs> Every restaurant he goes into comped. Oh yeah, yeah. Orders no, like a thousand bucks of food. Well, you know, it, it's all comp, but at the end of the day, we may have sp spent. You know, I may have, <laughs> I may have gave a hundred thousand dollars to get those two front That's row true. tickets. It's funny how <laughs> the <laughs> psychology of it works. Yeah, they make you feel amazing, but you're actually. Oh, yeah. If you do the math, you're most likely overspending on what they're comping you. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'd probably be better off not gambling, <laughs> just, not 
then I just pay my own way everywhere. Yeah. I could, could say, but most casinos, you figure you should get about ten percent in free play. So if you go to a casino and you lost a hundred thousand dollars, you're you should get about ten ten thousand dollars in free play on your oh, next wow. trip, and then. Uh, you should have about 10 to 15% in comps. So, Interesting. You, you know, if you go to the spa and you go everywhere, you, should, you know, on a hundred thousand dollar loss or play through in a casino, yeah. uh, you know, figure 10 to 15,000 free play, 10 to 15,000 in comps. I didn't know they did that on losses. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not playing at a high enough level for them to even offer that, I bet. Yeah. Well, you probably get like free buffets, free, yeah, rooms, yeah. free stuff like that. Have you checked out Fountain Blue yet? Yeah. So I actually went down there, uh, yesterday. Nice. Did you gamble? I did not gamble there. Okay. what do you so, think of it? You know, I honestly thought, it, I, I, I did like the high ceilings. Um, I don't smoke. I mean, I don't care that people do smoke, but I don't <laughs> smoke. So having the high ceilings was nice. So right. I didn't have to, um, it, it, you know, the air was much better than the <laughs> casinos that have low ceilings. But uh, yeah, new, new, new smell, it looked nice. But um, I, I was very unimpressed. Really? Um, yeah, I was very, very disappointed. I mean, wow. for 16 years of building it or 12 years or whatever. And I, um, I, I felt it kind of seemed outdated. Mm. It, it, I mean, it kind of... You know, a lot of stuff still isn't open there, but I felt the slot machine selection wasn't the best for being all brand new machines. I thought the high limit room looked like a tube that you kind of walk into. Wow. Um, they don't have fast pay on the floor, which for a brand new casino makes no sense. What's up? So what fast pay is, especially like is back at the levels that we're betting, um, and jackpots, which the government needs to change at some point, is a twelve hundred dollars uh, or more is a jackpot. Mm. So when I'm betting, you know, two hundred fifty dollars a spin, if I win, you know, six times my bet, it's like a person betting a dollar and winning six dollars. It's a jackpot. Oh. So you have to wait for the slot attendant to come over and clear the machine. So um, oh, that seems annoying. Five, six, seven years ago, they came out with fast pay. So a lot of the high limit rooms have it, mm -hmm. um, but they don't. Um, but now most of the casino floors are adding that as well. So if you hit, so and that's why I can hit so many jackpots because if I waited all night long for slot <laughs> attendants, I, I mean it would take. Yeah, I mean you, yeah. every time you hit a jackpot, if it took ten minutes, seems outdated. Yeah, and that's the, well. There's two things outdated. One is yeah, casino technology needs to be updated, and then the government. I, I know they were trying to pass at the end of Trump's. Um, time in office, they were trying to get it to $5,000. But mm. if, if you think about it, the $1,200 has been around since, you know, the 1970 or 80s. Yeah, inflation, and man. Just infl I mean, yeah, or even if you didn't want to do off inflation, it should be based on the amount of your bet. Right. You know, if I'm, if, you know, I mean, because there's machines, and uh, I did for my birthday two years ago, I lost a quarter million dollars. Jeez. I did, I did 50 spins at 5000 a spin. So even nothing on, I mean, just, you know, <laughs> I, I, I was betting 5,000, you know, a lot of times too on machines, if you, uh, you can win less than you, your bet size. So even on a $5,000 spin, I, I win 1,500 bucks as a jackpot. Wow. That doesn't I, make sense. Yeah. So they, and yeah, I mean, there's thousand dollar machines I've done a lot of spins on. Yeah. Um, so they, they definitely need to change the, the laws. Um, I mean, definitely like 5,000 or something would make a lot of sense, but I think it needs to be more based on the, the amount the of size. the bet. Yeah. Right. So if the machines, if you're betting a thousand, it should be like. 50 times that bet, you know, or something. Got like it, like a multiple. Yeah. yeah, just something realistic because, like I said, you, you, there's machines now that you can bet 5,000 a spin, so no matter anything you get, it's going to be a jackpot. Right. You know. How are you stomaching some of these big losses, man? It's, does it yeah, got you emotionally? I, you know, um, it did back in the day, um, but I, I'm, I'm pretty big about preaching, especially to my audience. I'm always like, don't play with what you don't have. You know, I when I go to the casino, I expect to lose. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know I'm going to lose 8 out of 10 times. I mean, right. it's um, – uh, you know, I mean, it's just part of it. And sometimes I'll get a little down on myself when I feel disappointed when I lose. But, you know, like they said, if, if I'm doing something like really crazy or big, I usually have it pl more of a planned event where it's like, you know, we're, I'm going to be doing, you know, quarter million dollars, $5,000. Yeah. This is a big event. Like people want to tune in and, and, and watch it and stuff. Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more geared up for it. But, uh, my, you know, my biggest thing was, like I said, just I always wanted to beat my biggest jackpot of $100,000 and I never expected. Got know, a million, man. Yeah. That's, that was, that must down. be a short list of people that have pulled that off. Yeah. I mean, probably less than a, a couple of hundred. Wow. Most, I would think. That's not. There, there should be a Wikipedia page for that. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> people that have I'm, done that. I'm working on, uh, in a couple of months, doing a big event, uh, Guinness Book of World Record, a certified event for the largest slot play ever. Oh yeah, how yeah. much would you need to bet? Well, so, yeah, so now, so now everything's kind of changed. So originally it was going to be like a million dollar. I was actually going to go for the million dollar Dragon League oh, okay. and do a, like have a actually. So the, the biggest I've ever done it at once was three hundred thousand on the five thousand dollar spins. Um, the Dragon Link machines go up to twenty five hundred dollars a spin. So the plan was to do a million dollars live. Wow, million dollar slot play live for the you know and have them certify it as the biggest. You know, that's sick. What's the record right now? 
Uh, there, there's no record. So, oh, so you would exist. set the whole category. Yeah, <laughs> but I figured, like, but it, I, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go certify it for 200000 right. I, I wanted it to be, and I mean, the whole idea was to, you know, and also to try and get my biggest jackpot of my life at the right. same time. So it's kind of, two, two so birds. now everything's kind of like changed up. So what we, I'm trying to do or two birds or one stone. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. I, when I was a kid, I always wanted to get in that book, man. Oh, yeah. I, I got to figure out, like, if there's an angle with podcasting or something. Maybe the largest podcast out there. So. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, that was every kid's dream growing up. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I think, and that's kind of like the same thing with the, nowadays. I, I don't even know if most of the young people under 15 even know what the Guinness Book of World Records is. <laughs> I don't hear kids talking about it at all. They talk no. about TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's all about TikTok. That's why I told my. It was funny. I told my kids. I said, "I go. Uh, is that pretty crazy? I have a hundred thousand followers on TikTok, and I haven't done one dance." <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a phase. It was a cringy phase. Yeah. for years. <laughs> I, I never was about that phase. Yeah. So, is there any skills in slot in slots at all? So there is advantage slot players. So some machines do have some advantages. Back in the day, people used to say, um, if like play the machines on the aisle or you know, busy walkways or different, like those pay better. But um, most of that's not nonsense. Um, but there are advantage slot games where like, if you get so many, uh, like so many green coins or yellow coins or so many like points, it has to hit by like a hundred or something. Mm -hmm. So there are some games like that where there is some advantage skill level. I was actually playing a game last night um, like the jackpot or the, the bonus had a hit by $8,000. And basically every spin I was doing at $200, it went up by $4. Wow. So I was kind of bored and pr probably a stupid move, but I was like, you know what? It, it's uh, $800 away. So I, I basically knew for, you know, $20,000 a playthrough, I had to hit it. So it cost me about 14000 to 8000 <laughs> God damn. Uh, you just wanted to win it. Yeah. I don't know. So I was like, you know, I'll, just, I'll clip that video like 10 minutes before. Like, like, I'll be like, look, I put 2,000 in. I just got 8,000 in my biggest yeah. win ever on this game. Wow. In the high limit rooms, is the only difference the, the money you're betting? Is there any other differences? Um, I mean, usually the level of service is hopefully better um, yeah. by the casinos. Also, uh, in the high limit rooms, they usually have like premium drinks. And okay. Are you like drinking that. while you're playing? You know, sometimes I do. I'm, I'm not, um, I drink, uh, you know, back home because I have restaurants and bars and stuff. Yeah. So sometimes like Vegas for me is like, I need a break from drinking. Yeah. And I also try and like, you know, I mean, obviously like they say, you know, I mean, you, you know, the more you drink, probably the, the worst decisions you make, you know, the more you gambling. lose. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, there's a reason why the drinks are free in Vegas and nowhere else. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any good luck charms? Do you believe in any of that pregame stuff? Um, you know, not, not really. Um, yeah. I give out to fans all the time. I have my good luck chips and they're always winning with them and stuff. Okay. I'm doing well. They, they come up to me and they'll look, it's still in my pocket or I, I hit this jackpot. They'll send me a picture and yeah. and stuff, which is great. But yeah, I'm, I'm not very superstitious. I, I don't like to walk on cracks, you know, and yeah. skip over the cracks and walking down the street. That's but, a classic one. Yeah. But yeah, no, everything else I'm kind of like, I mean, like, like I said, the slots are just pure luck. I mean, there's, yeah. there's like I said, if you ever meet a slot player and he tells you he's ahead, unless he hit that million dollars and and bets really low mm -hmm. they're lying <laughs> you see it more in poker i think with the good luck charms oh yeah 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 because poker is more i guess there's a lot of luck in it but it's yeah. it's more skilled too it's well a, poker is i mean it's uh, your attitude i mean you're or yeah your, you know your your demeanor and what somebody's trying to read and bluffing and absolutely yeah and stuff plus it and, and I've, I've done poker a little bit um a lot of my fans have asked me to do poker and because I've done some, but I just I just don't I don't have the patience to sit there. It's too and, slow. And like I said, it, and it's, and you and you have to think, and it is a, it is work, and that's why the, yeah. the it slots have just been mindless entertainment. I just come up with some of my biggest business ideas and yeah and stuff. Yeah, let's talk business actually, because I've never seen you dive into your business stuff. What are you doing yeah. there? So um, back in early the early days, I was the uh, well. Originally, I started in restaurants. I started Great Scott's Eatery, mm -hmm. um, a chain of restaurants uh, in Colorado, twenty four day family restaurants. And then I got in this, uh, I opened my first bar when I, so I started that when I was 20. I opened my first bar when I turned 21. So I was in the hospitality business uh, for the first 10 years of my life. Mm -hmm. And also I did vending machines. Oh yeah? Uh, when I was 16 years old, or 50, excuse me, 15 years old, my mom got me two vending machines. So I started little candy machines. Um, and then I got into video games and pinball machines and pool tables, jukeboxes. Mm. So um, when I started my restaurant, by the time I was 20, I, I think I had about three, 400 video games. I had about 10,000 gumball machines. And I've always just been an entrepreneur, worker, trying to make money and do stuff. Never yeah. was really big about school and going to you know college or Oh, so you never school. went? No. So nice. during uh, my high school career, um, I wasn't doing good in school. So I took the restaurant arts program. Uh, and so that's where I learned a lot of the, with the restaurants and cooking. That's and cool. Now to make it in the restaurant industry, you hear the margins are thin and not a lot of people make it. What do you think you did differently to make yeah. it? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would put in 18, 20 hours a day. Uh, my first restaurants, you know, look like makeshift. <laughs> you know, nobody would go in there. You know, or something. Uh, I just, every dollar I made, I just kept reinvesting in my businesses and, you know, fixing them up, making them look nicer. Mm -hmm. And um, I, 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 like I said, too, I, I think it was just the time. It, it, it was easy to do things 30 years ago. It's, right. I mean, it's, it's hard, right? You know, I mean, I was buying, uh, I got big into real estate. Um, I have almost 200, uh, actually, I have over 200 properties now. Damn. But, um, it was like, you know, my original restaurants, I was buying for, you know, 135,000 bank repos back then with 10% down. So, I mean, you could open up a business for, you know, a restaurant for 30, 40,000. I don't, wow. I mean, my last remodel I did was almost a million dollars on a restaurant. So it's, it's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you just do so much more back then. It was, yeah. you know, like the loans were 10% down. Now, you know, it's 25, 30%. And know. the interest is crazy. Yeah. Interest was kind of high back then too. Oh, it was? Yeah, I think it was, I mean, probably where it was now, yeah. um, but it was, we were coming off the first, you know, big recession back then in like the early 1990s and stuff. But, um, but yeah, so I had the restaurant business, vending machines, and then I stumbled in uh, when I was about 30 into the internet. Okay. Uh, just kind of was looking for stuff, used to watch CNBC and got into it. And I started with a company online selling pagers. Mm -hmm. And then that moved into like Ginsu knives. And then I found discovered diet pills. And I came out with like Inferno, melt your fat away and second Inferno. And then started, I was like, you know what, I'm spending all this money. I'm collecting all this data, started building an email list. And then yeah. I became known as the spam king. So that so was you would my, just spam people. <laughs> that's what they said. I, I thought it was opt in email marketing. Or, <laughs> and I was, I was funny on the daily show. They did a clip on me as Hilarious clip is uh, I was like uh, high high volume email deployer, um, <laughs> but it was pre canned spam. So this is like two thousand one to. Um, oh, so actually, they made that law because of you. <laughs> I think that was a big part of it. It's actually <laughs> so funny. So funny story. So Vegas Matt was actually working for my friend who I was working with. Oh yeah. He was in oh, New York. so you knew him for a while. Yeah, he was in New York working with him in two thousand, uh, like you know two three. So we actually all got sued by the New York AG and Damn. Microsoft at the same time. Not Holy not Matt, crap. but the guy he was working for, oh, okay, my okay. friend. Um, so we all got sued. Microsoft sued me for fifty million for New what? AG. For emailing people? Yeah. So they they didn't really have any laws back then. It was kind of like the Wild West. Okay. Um, so you weren't breaking any laws. Well, I so said you weren't breaking any criminal laws, but you were breaking. You know, the, the people would say, "Well," um, and you have to remember, like you were paying by the minute to use AOL and dial up. And oh, so people were getting charged when you emailed if, them. If, yeah, they had to open their email and they were on like, for twelve it. seconds. You know, <laughs> I could see why they would be upset. Then. Yeah, so it was a whole different day back in the you know before spam filters and I yeah. mean, it was just crazy. The money, you know, I, like, I went from you know working my ass off in restaurants and trying to make a living to all of a sudden you know, I'm making fifty thousand dollars a day. Damn, it off just, emails. Oh, it's nuts. The Holy money. Crap. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. What were you selling? Uh, just anything you could imagine. Imagine like uh, Vistaprint was a big one back then for uh, business cards online. Which wow, is, like, I used to use that for my business cards. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, it was like uh, casinos, diet products. I, I had you know little mini microphones. Yeah. Little, I had cell phone stickers that went on the back of your. Damn, so you tried that was everything. The best one. Yeah. Oh, the big one was uh, Iraqi playing cards. Iraqi um, playing cards. Yeah, that was. I don't know if you ever. Well, back when we invaded Iraq, they had like the top fifty most uh, wanted people in Iraq. So oh no, I never saw that. That was huge. But yeah, that was crazy. Like I went. Um, I think by 2007 or eight, I was in, uh, the Forbes 500 fastest growing businesses. <laughs> I was doing, I did like $108 million that year. What? Oh, it was insane. Off I got, emails? I got, I got sued by MySpace. I got sued. <laughs> I paid over $20 million in fines. And, and oh my gosh. But, but you were making so much. You didn't even yeah, care. I just, I just just it was the cost of doing business. It was, yeah. it was funny when Micros and I grew up, I always played uh, hockey and stuff. So yeah. when I got sued the, <laughs> by Microsoft and New York AG, the, uh, you know, all the reporters, you know, called me and they were, you know, wanted to meet and interviews, you know, and stuff. And I was yeah. like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'll be at the, the hockey ranking company. Like, You're going to go play hockey. You just got sued for 20 million. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Like, and what am I going to do? Stop my life? Like, wow. I'm going to keep making money. You know? So you're good at separating like the emotional side of business. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not married to any of my businesses when I, when I've sold them and exited them. Or yeah. I, you know, I'm really big in the domain space. I have killer domain names. Oh yeah. Which I ones? Sold. Uh, well, I just sold affiliate.com. Wow, that's a good stuff. one. That was a good one. So I just sold that one. But uh, and I also just sold text.com. Text? T E X T. Dot oh, com. wow. You yeah. had text.com, yeah. bro? But I still have like airline.com. I have a lot of names. Uh, I, I just sold pete.com. Dude, um, you but got I have some like good names. Elmo.com, Dora.com, 
So a lot of your success is just being there early. Yeah, and they're in the space. It's like I tell people in the online advertising and online business and affiliate space business, you have to reinvent yourself every two years. Mm. Like no, nothing lasts forever. Like it yeah. just it keeps changing. But yeah, one of my uh, one of my uh, names right now is Broncos.com. I've had that's for a like good one. The Denver years. Broncos didn't approach you yet. I, I've tried to sell it to them a few times. I mean, <laughs> with the new ownership, maybe they would change. You got a message. I've been, offered, I've been offered free season tickets for live. I've been offered different things. That's probably not yeah. worth the domain. But yeah, the, the Rockies. Well, the Rockies, uh, Colorado Rockies. Rockies, the Rockies paid a million and a half to get Rockies.com. Wow. And I was actually, I, I, I was offering it to them for like a half a million. I was like, yeah. You know, reason, they made that in like, a. It should be a million dollar domain name. Like, yeah. People don't. It, and so I actually, I have uh, like their schedule on it. And I, I, you always have to make sure with names, there's no copyright infringement right, right. and stuff. So I actually uh, have their links to their, uh, st- through Fanat- Fanatics, their store and everything. Okay. So I mean, I, I mean, I make sure I, f- I follow all the rules. And so stuff. you have like an affiliate link? Yeah. But yeah. it was crazy. Like when they won the Super Bowl, they, ma- they made like 10 grand that month. Damn. I mean, it's like, it's not bad. Yeah. Every holiday season, it does well before the season starts. Yeah. When Wilson's, you know, joined the team, his jersey sales. Um, but yeah, I have uh, just a ton of domains. I've about eighty thousand domain names. Holy! One point. I think now I'm a little bit lower, but how did you buy that many? Just what? kept buying, and I had a lot of like typos back in the day. That uh-huh. was really big. Um, the problem now is with like smart browsers, you don't have, um, you don't get that kind of traffic. So, an example back, you know, fifteen years ago, if you had you know Facebook with one O, yeah, or something, or Google with one O, you know, stuff like that would get just massive. Traffic. Oh, I used to always fall for those. <laughs> yeah, that stuff because people just mistype them. Yeah, all. yeah. Or like I had Elmo.com, Dora.com. So for the you know, like everybody's looking for Elmo gifts, Dora yeah. gifts. You know, that's and, funny. But now they they rerouted all those to the main oh, ones. Yeah, right? a lot. Of the, like if you typed in Elmo.com, it'd probably take you to Sesame Street.com. Or yeah, something. that's cool to see you diversify yeah. your your money into different assets like real yeah. estate domains and businesses. Yeah, well, like I tell people, especially, I mean, people don't understand the power of these domains. Like I have necklace.com. I have, I mean, just tons of like, if you went to New York, you know, and you wanted to have the number one jewelry or necklace store on, you know, Madison, was the fifth Avenue or whatever the, yeah. you know, I mean, how many millions and millions of dollars would it cost you? You know, and I'm like, you know, Warren Buffett, he owns all these jewelry stores. He could buy necklace.com, have the number one necklace site online. Mm-hmm. And, you know, doesn't have to spend, you know, $20 million to be on Park Avenue. That's true. A good domain yeah. automatically builds trust. Yes, and that's that's why I try to explain to people. And I've I've done a lot of deals where I lease out my names to people for businesses. Yeah, like Skinny dot com. I leased out um, because, like I said, it, it's it's instant trust. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, like yeah. uh, Plunge dot com. They're doing a hundred million a year, and that's a great domain. So you just oh, automatically yeah. trust. Like they yeah. sell cold plunges. Oh yeah, no. When you have the brand, it, it makes it easy. And then the big thing. So the biggest thing for me ever, where I was doing the hundred million plus a year, was ringtones, mm. which is crazy because ringtones don't even exist today. I yeah. mean, they're fr- or they're free today, I should say. Yeah, yeah. I don't but, even use them anymore. Yeah, <laughs> nobody does. <laughs> or they're free. Like I said, you just take a clip. Of yeah. it. Back then, we were selling you, a, you know, nine ninety nine a month ringtone, and you know, wow. get the get your daily joke of the day, get a, a tarot card reading of the day for an extra two ninety nine a month. Yeah, um, ringtones. That's how Soldier Boy blew up back in the day. Uh, the rapper. The, oh yeah. Yeah, he ringtones. just put his ringtone on everyone's phone. Oh, nice. No one wanted it there, but yeah, no. So the ringtones have been a huge. Uh, that that was that was my really big one where I, like where, where my revenue exceeded a hundred million a year. Right. It was just like I said, it was just crazy. Yeah. So are you still seeking insane revenue opportunities? Or are you just chilling with the slot stuff at this point? No, I'm always looking for stuff to do. You know, it, 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 it's kind of hard once you've made it and been successful because you know it's it's like. I, like I always tell people, I have a hundred ideas a day that yeah. can make a you know a hundred dollars a day, but I can't implement a hundred ideas and I can't run it. So, and it's kind of hard. Like I want to have stuff that can make you know I'm looking for that always for the thing that's going to make millions of dollars a month or you know yeah. and be a big deal because. I know the effort and the time you have to put in and stuff. And it's kind of, it's, it's depressing at times. When, <laughs> like you, I mean, imagine if you have, you know, 80, a hundred employees, you're doing $110 million this year. And you know, you know, now you have, you know, 15 employees and you're doing 30 million a year. Yeah. It's a big, so it's, yeah. Dive. So it's kind of like, I mean, obviously it's different, you know, real estate rental and yeah, I mean, it, you know, you just, the income just keeps coming in and I have no debt. So it's, I mean, it's, it's great. Also yeah. property tax, it's, you know, a home run. And, um, but yeah, it's like I'm always looking for something fun to do, and and this like the gambling, and that's, it is kind of tough because sometimes it does wear on you, and the travel. I mean, I'm on the road, you know, two and a half, three weeks of the month, going to Damn. casinos all over. Uh, I just got back from Europe. We're going to. I've been in Vegas three times in the last month. Um, yeah, so you I got was, no time to yeah, work. I, I came like last week. I was here. Uh, I, I came out of uh, Mississippi at a casino that I, yeah, I had to fly to Dallas to get to, and there's no direct flight. Then I had to drive an hour and a half to an <laughs> Indian reservation in the middle of nowhere, and 
take a three-hour car ride from there to Alabama to get a direct flight to Vegas. God I mean, damn. It's, it's kind of like a, a touring group. You yeah. Know? And, but I do try and do all these meet and greets and get out to see my fans because, you know, just like I said, just like a touring group, they want to meet you, they want to see you, and yeah. they love to just come watch me gamble. It's, it's you know. I'm going to have to make it out, see what it's all about, man. Yeah, no, it's fun. You know, what I try and do is put you in the machine. or like So it's you get that real life experience. And, yeah. and most people either say they love this, I save them a ton of money because they can just watch me. <laughs> they can just watch me gamble and they don't have to go to the casino and lose all their money. And, yeah. then, and then you get those other people who are like, I watched you, you just won. I ran to the casino. I lost you know seven hundred dollars. I can't pay my rent. Can you can you oh, loan me money? And I get that a lot. And I'm like, Damn, I just I always wonder. Suck. I'm like, yeah, some of these stories are very depressing, and yeah, and they, I mean, they put a lot of effort into them. Or college students who lost all their money, and I think that's going to be the next really really big thing that the government. This is going to be interesting with all this online gambling now. And yeah. So you have the sports betting, you know, in a lot of like twenty plus states now. Um, but you know, some of the states have online casino gambling too on the slots on their apps. But this is becoming a really big, this is going to be the next big thing. This is going to be a hurdle because at least casinos, you had some control, you have to go there. But this sports betting, these, um, you know, you know, young college kids are getting wiped out. I mean, they're, yeah. I mean, it, this is going to become a big problem in the future. They're probably going to have to step in at some point, right? I don't know how, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how you step in because obviously gambling's there, unless yeah. you, you know, but when you have something at, on you know, at your hand, it's, you know, I mean, these, these kids are, you know, spending their whole entire savings, you know, yeah. betting. 20 games a day 50 you know I well mean, i think yeah. i think in the case of sports betting if you're selling sports picks you yeah. should verify your own results somehow like yeah. have some sort of system where it could be verified because people say obnoxious claims oh yeah 150 nice. wins two losses yeah that should be able to be verified yeah yeah no definitely stuff like that but i'm just saying even the people who aren't buying verified i'm just saying when you put something in the hands of something that they can just lose all their money you know, it's and it, I think it took so long to even get to this point where the states would allow it because you know they had the biggest criminal racket with you know lottery tickets. Yeah, you know, that was a scam. Yeah. yeah, I mean fifty percent hold. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can't win, but yeah, no, I, I know that's like becoming. But it is, it is depressing when people right like it's like you know I'm, I, I was right back. I'm like, how about go get a second job, go get a third <laughs> job? Oh, you know, yeah. I, I tried. Nobody's hiring. I'm like, I don't know. It's plenty of places. If you want to work and you yeah. yeah, I'm not a fan of the the yeah. victim mentality. Like no, you you no. go and gamble just because you watch someone. It's still your decision. Yeah, that's you know what, what I, I mean? tell. Yeah, that's like you're a grown adult. If you're 21 plus, you know, at the casino, you made your decision, not yeah. me. Yeah, I don't. I don't like when people blame others. I mean, you're an adult, yeah. man. No, sure. especially like they said these these hardship stories, and I always wonder. I always then I kind of think I'm like, you know, sometimes I'll I'll, I'll be like, oh, you you only needed eight thousand dollars. You sure don't want twenty? Well, you know, if you want to give me the twenty, that's cool. <laughs> I'm just like I'm like, how many people do they write to a day that actually are like, you know what, man, God, I just read your story. I'm sending you here's five thousand or no here's a hundred. No one's I, sending money. I just to you. yeah, but they keep writing. So I, I, just, I, I get know. them too. I'm yeah. like guys in India or something just messaging me for money. I'm yeah, like, those ones, I, yeah, yeah, those are yeah, scammers. Or yeah. But I'm saying like the people in America like, <laughs> or your fans, who, <laughs> I watch you every day, they know everything about me and they're like, like, how many people do you write? Like, do they go home and tell their wife like, yeah, you know what? Oh, you know, That's I mean, a they have weird. a great opportunity for you. I, I spoke to the Raj. I asked him for the seven thousand we need. Yeah, you know, I told him about the new baby and. That's <laughs> a that, weird life. There's a, I, there's a still. He hasn't got back to me. Like, I'm like, what are you? Guys, People probably right? have a lot of parasocial relationships with you that you don't even know about. Yeah, no, you do have your your best fans, and, and it's great having the fans. But yeah, no, it's. It is crazy how like some because our watch time is so high and, and and in the beginning I always forgot about that or I wasn't used to, like I I was more of an analytics person and I, w I wasn't really like an I'm not Mr. Outgoing personality <laughs> yeah which I you know like, like I said I'm, I'm I'm the operation guy like I'm gonna get this stuff done and we're, we're gonna make a lot of money I was Absolutely. never I was never the face of it yeah <laughs> so Scott's it's been fun man anything yeah. you wanna close off with our promote. No, just, uh, you know, definitely ch check me out if uh, you haven't watched me. My channel is The Big Jackpot. Um, I go by Raja, and I'm on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, X, Threads, Clapper. Uh, <laughs> we got to get you a deal on uh, Kick or Rumble. Oh, so, yeah. I, oh, so, actually, I am on Rumble. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so I am on Rumble. And actually, another f funny story. My, uh, just to mention it real quick. My uh, my friend was the founder and the largest shareholder of Rumble. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So, he, he started it. So, uh, Sick. Uh, small world. Yeah, small world. And... I am working with uh, Stake.com to have a deal on kick also. Nice. So All right, man. Great, great yeah. chatting. Great. Thanks for watching, Thanks. guys. Kept it real with the slots. I love that. See you next time.